Cool. It's usually and uh, you can add the commentator name, throw on it. Yeah! Get that Holy notoriety. heck, that was a Just nice Because I can't crack. play this game doesn't mean I can't talk about it. I will see the birds soon. Oh Alright, so going into game one on Smashville. Dan DeLion, Dan DeLion versus Spamkoff, a match we've seen a lot before, usually at the Winter Olympics. Um, Alright, so this is just very calm neutral to start this off, gonna see who gets started. Alright, Dan goes a little bit off with that first spin dash, but not gonna be able to convert. Okay, I just want to test how loud it is. I think it's good. Okay. Yeah, it's probably really loud, actually. Ooh. Hopefully Order just missed space, and now Connor's going to get a chance. But Dan, uh, that up B can get you out of a lot of situations, it seems. So I'm just going to go ahead and get himself away from the Mario combos. Ooh, that was a... I don't know if the fair... I don't know if the frame data would have favored the fair there, but it feels like he might have been able to even go for that. But okay. that's a very weird position to be in. Yeah, good to Dan to get out of that situation. Connor was Connor. What was Con he was starting to do there was he was starting to get these little pokes to push him off stage, to possibly get a read off of it. And uh, Dan answered back, pretty smart to get back on the stage using Connor the speed of Sonic for the most part. Yeah. Connor's been fighting his way down with a lot of nares and, and backers, of course, mixing Absolutely. it. But there's he's a little good. Another nice nair right there. Backer there. Yeah. Um, I think he wants. The, I think he's just looking for the light hits to uh, you know just keep himself safe. It keeps himself like. When Sonic comes right at him with his hitbox, it, it means that there's a hitbox to meet. Ooh, uh, almost gets the, at least the chance for a stage spike. Uh, yeah, but then also like the light hits. Ooh, just the tippy toes of that gonna take, uh, gonna take Connor off the top. Yeah, but yeah the nares, just barely confirming that. Yeah. L yeah, light light hits are gonna, um, you know, just you, you can find something to connect that to, and you know, n now especially being down a stock, he's gonna wanna clean this up as soon as possible. Yeah, Con Connor. Right now, he what he's trying to do is he's trying to get like a really fast hitbox to connect into something right now. And what Dan is doing is pretty, pretty is generally pretty smart. He's just playing patient, playing in shield, waiting on what he's gonna do there, and getting his damage when he needs to. Anti airing him there with that hook, hook air. Uh, <laughs> the hook, I, 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 I want to call it a hook, but um, yeah, sharking. There you go. That's a good word. Oh, nice voice crack. It's all good, man. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, yeah, Connor, Connor's getting a lot of light hits. Yeah. Yeah, but nothing. He still hasn't found a way to actually get like the percent he needs or like an opportunity to get a kill opening. Exactly, and we're not even at like up smash percent yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. See, he's looking. He was looking to see if Dan might give him the miss tech, but just. Oh, and Dandy is out. And oh, okay, catch. Okay. Threat. Yeah, I think he went for up here, a uh, high up here right there, and Connor just calls out the mix up. I, I don't know. Either way, he got him. Got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Dan tries to go uh, read the air dodge there and, you know, sneak out the back air, but that's not going to happen. Uh, okay, okay has a great to build there. Some up here. There we go. Build something going. Yeah. I feel like he's also not really capitalizing much off of these spin dashes so far. Like, he's not really, um, getting punished too hard. For Did he just win? Oh, no, that was close. That was too, too high was a close. percent, or too low a percent, rather, on the Sonic for that to be a kill. Okay, and high enough that that wouldn't 50 50. Okay. I don't know who's taking this. This is looking kind of close. Yeah, Connor Good definitely has the, the ability landing. to do it. Thankfully, the grab doesn't uh, hit him out there. But Dan really just needs anything like that—a a good grab, like a good back throw anywhere, on, probably probably anywhere on the stage now. Okay, um, and at this percent, but spin Connor, dash up, spin dash and air will straight up kill. Spin charge and air actually. Yeah, but I think up smash from so. Connor would even kill as well. So and, or a back air into yeah, a shield, right, and that will that give Dan the open Dan the, the uh, shield grab he needs to take game one there. Down All right. Down. Yeah, pretty close game. Right after that uh, forward air, Connor just figured, just thought, used that time to just get a few seconds to think what he could really do to uh, counteract Dan more, and he started to find more opens to get damage, anti airing him more. Which I think, like, if he can get those opportunities to anti air Dan more, that's gonna help him get his combo game a lot more because it's sure. not looking like Dan is gonna give him any starters on the ground. Okay, or, or you can switch to. So I this is a much better matchup. I mean, Mario Sonic is very doable. I mean, the 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 hitbox like Mario's big up smash will cover stuff, but like this is gonna give you much much juicier punishes when Dan attacks your shield. That um, Nair is an amazing tool for uh, punishing spin dash. Yeah, he'll have a lot more range to work with, a little bit more mobility to work with. And as long as he plays smart, his recovery won't be too hindering. Well, yeah, but it's it, it there. Does, it has a lot of mix-up potential for sure. Absolutely, there, like, and you need to you you need to employ that. Oh, yeah, okay. So that um, 
that up tilt is not like Marth's. There are lots of blind spots on it, and I see a lot of players, like players that don't play uh, Cloud a lot, uh, well, even myself, um, will uh, whiff those because they think it's more like a Marth dash attack where it's a bigger arc. It's really just like this, it's a small little arc on top, really. Or it's not like, uh, arc is a bad word for it. But I mean, it's an up tilt. It makes an arc formation. Yeah, yeah, but it's not. The, it's not what some people think. Like, it doesn't reach in front or behind him. It just reaches above him. I guess is a good way to put okay. it. Okay. Pulling the trigger a little early there. Yeah, Dan. getting a little just antsy. out of range there. That was pretty good positioning from down there. He did cover himself pretty well with the jab, but now Dan can go. Well. Oh, and Talon City almost takes that. Yeah, with with the lower ceiling, that's gonna make a uh, grab confirm from Sonic just a little bit more scary, especially the 50-50 ones. Reverse that normally wouldn't there. kill. Oh, just barely. Connor oh almost God, got it. <laughs> it was literally the tip. Mm, it, didn't touch. it didn't even pass him. Mm, Connor's throwing out a couple too many things right now, and Dan's going in happily for them. Yeah, and he doesn't have limit yet, so Dan trying to take advantage of that, get the stage control at the same time. That's sneaky back air. Okay. Alright, first stock for Connor. Alright, yeah. Um, so I, did, I also noticed that, like, this is Connor's, the stage is Connor's counter pick, and I'm a yeah. little surprised at that. Like, Sonic has really good, con ooh, missed the tech. Uh, so Connor, or sorry, Dan, Sonic, has, um, really good, uh, confirms that hit your opponent upwards, and that's gonna, you know, uh, aid him in getting the kills, but also, I find that Cloud, like, you can play Cloud in a lot of different styles, but I find, I, ooh, good, good That call. was a good mix-up, yeah. yeah. I find that Cloud does better when, like, you're forced close with your opponent, like on Lilac or on Battlefield or okay. Dream Dreamland type stuff. Like when you give when there's a lot of room to run around, yes Cloud can take advantage of it, but like particularly in this matchup, I think Sonic just does it better. So like, yes, with the thing with Sonic, as I said, like the up throw confirmed if I'm that normally won't kill, it is a bit more scary with this and even in the 50-50 ranges, and then his spin dash confirms with the upper. They also can elevate it well. Mm -hmm. But then like thinking about the person who did pick this stage, Ooh. wow, that was a beautiful confirm by the way. Sour under your back here. I love seeing that. Alright. But yeah, thinking about like going with Cloud, it is a low ceiling, so he might want to try to kill a little bit early. And also the platform arrangements on the second vari variation are a bit higher up for and Sonic. As I recently learned from watching some other commentary on Sonic, um, he's really fast on the ground, but approaching you from a, from below. That's where he's a bit slow on oh, okay. it, so having those platforms up there can help Cloud to land better here in this matchup, I would say. And just, yeah, low ceiling and such. I'm not sure what else I could really say on that, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, bad down, down there on shield, but, and you also see, like, we're... we're 15 or so seconds here uh, of uh, Final Destination, another thing that I don't particularly like about this stage. Um, I think he just used Limit, and that almost killed him too. Oh darn. Oh, there it is. Oh, never mind, never mind. I, I saw some things. I saw, I've seen some things, man. He's got He's got a blue outline, he must oh, have Limit. Oh, so gun blue. and so trigger happy with that. Yeah, very, very. I mean, that seems to be his style though, with uh, using Limit though. It seems to be very trigger happy and just... A little impatient, I would say. Yeah, I mean, it, at the it same can, time. Ooh, oh my really god! Good okay. Beautiful. Uh, it, it, um, also, good job, uh, good job, Stamkov. That is a. I, I, I like to mention it every time that I get a chance. Cloud's ledge grab is different than the rest of the cast. You have to input it slightly different, otherwise you just run off the stage in fastball. Um, but uh, so yeah, I personally don't like Cloud on Final Destination because I do like the ability to go away and charge my limit. Uh, so in that sense, I also find Town and City to be un unfit for purpose because for so long you have the final destination layout. Oh, I, I was just I was thinking that you were kind of agreeing with me a little bit there because like at the same time when it's not on that final destination layout, it does leave good avenues for Cloud to charge yeah, the limit no, and be safer. Platform, those platforms are great. I actually I love the first um, transformation of it. I wish that was the stage in itself. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, but like in terms of that last match, um, oh, we're going back. Oh, I, I would say that Con Connor. See, this is what I'm talking. About. I would say that the cloud def cloud switch definitely did help Connor there. It made it a lot closer, and it was able to take take advantage of cloud for the most part. Of, for sure, just but, the benefits of cloud, like in this matchup in particular. But now we'll see if Dan has adjusted to that, which very well could be the case. He could very well. He seems to. It. He must have seen those uh, throws almost killing on this stage. So like. Just a few little things, low ceiling, big stage. Oh, trumped? He, he might feel comfortable here after being there last game, and it was also close. So, good catch on the. Uh, he goes for it again, that's gonna be a punish. One. Yeah. Good nair to get, get him safe back there, but now he's in a terrible position. Oh, oh that was such a good early he recovery. Oh, even at, 
Okay, Dan could have DI'd all the way in and tried to live if he had done the second hit on that, but I don't even think it would have been uh, enough because he was so far in near the hilt of that, uh, like so far into his sword near the hilt that it m might have been very challenging to DI out of that had Connor uh, pulled the trigger and gone down. Yeah. Speaking of pulling the trigger, that was almost the stock right there. Dan looking for the kill. Yeah, that backer actually oh, did work. There and it wow, yeah. that safe spike. Yeah, Dan looking pretty dominant on that stock, I would say. Yeah, Spring is an amazing tool in this matchup. And I but... want to see why or what adjustments that Connor is going to make here. Uh, certainly he's capable of it. Um, yeah. Okay, good call on the drop shield right there. Uh, oh, Dan yeah. does like to ch cancel uh, spin dash and uh, shield often. So, or not not too often, but he does do it. It's a Sonic thing. So, good awareness of the character's Just Sonic potential. Sonic things. Yeah. Fast as okay. Wow, that was some mix up right there. Connor wasn't a Connor oh. was chasing him down, but he okay. wasn't able to get the hit on him. Yeah. Oh, whip grab, but no punish. Uh, that down air, okay, not gonna yeah. get punished for it. A bit, like, you know, he's, it's... Down air is relatively safe, but, like, you like, know, and Dan's also fast, like, you gotta... I would say in that position that down air actually wasn't safe. I think that what Dan was doing was he was oh, actually just waiting for it What kind of hard read did he want there, or was that a missed input? I'm not sure. I, it looked very deliberative, but it could have been a missed input. I'm gonna say he mm -hmm. wanted a really hard roll read, but... Yeah. I think Connor is starting to notice that he might be rushing in a little bit there, like... He's starting to take the damage again. He's not really getting these hits that he was getting. And okay, There's okay, a hit. okay, yeah, and a kills. Okay, yeah. okay, shut me up. Thank you. Despite yeah, <laughs> despite Dan's best efforts, he's gonna go. Uh, he's gonna lose that stock. Okay, yeah. That back, the uh, real oh. back on the forward smash just to punish that, to punish that downer. That was very smart. Spam cop got really lucky there on that breakout because there was still stage to land on. He could have found himself off stage suddenly, having to uh, like you know pick a quick option and probably have to expel the limit. Yeah, that's a good point. Once again, Dan able to punish, just just spacing really well on that Up against throw. that downer actually. Okay, okay, couldn't find anything. Yep. Playing it safe. Oh, okay, best to retreat back down. Oh, that probably could have been a better as a nair. Oh my god! Okay, Dad, that was perfect timing. He, Connor did that to him once, where he got him in that position, and he managed to Ooh, re read like a double air dodge. Uh, with, too low? No. Okay. With finishing touch. Okay, yeah, this is getting close. Okay. Back air. Nice. Oh, yeah. That was a really good call out on the air dodge, and at the same time, it also covered the high recovery. So Dan will take this two one in a very close fashion. Oh wow, it's game. still a two one thing. Wow. Okay. D despite despite like how dominant that first stock was, I would say that Connor did really well uh, coming back just a little bit there, and that little string that he got him also gave him a little bit of momentum at the end there. Yeah, no, it's certainly. Just, at the end, Dan took advantage of uh, Cloud off stage really well at the end there, and exactly. made the right call off. Good games to both.